G'day, Diesel from Get Run Oils Camper Trailer Traveling, and thanks for joining us for another episode. So, as you can see here, the camper trailer is back in action. It's been a weekend up here in the Yanchep National Park, and uh, it didn't all go to plan. While it's been a rough one for myself, I'm sure it's going to be entertaining for you. So, I um, hope you enjoy it. Cheers. Uh, it's the first time I've ever heard that. Basically, there's toilets and showers here. So, I've got to keep the doors closed because the, the kangaroos like to help themselves in. This is it here. So if you tuck it in your sheets in the corners, they'll get damp. Or oh, see the kangaroo just up there, boys, in the path. Every moment I was spending on regrets was such a waste, such a waste, such a waste. Looking on the city lights, flashing bright in my eyes. Look up. what he said about the kangaroos in the toilets yeah it's the, they like to go in the lawn yeah so so we gotta keep the door shut yeah exactly make sure uh it's the first time i've ever heard that um like i said driving in there's kangaroos here everywhere <coughs> but they have there's another camp trail there but he was saying basically there's toilets and showers here but gotta keep the toilet uh, sorry, gotta keep the doors closed because the, the kangaroos like to help themselves in. And uh, if one's open, I like said proceed with caution because there's likely a kangaroo in there and he's probably gonna to wanna to come out and buy one of us over. So this is us here boys. Yeah, kind of the worst spot to be in. Oh yeah, this is an awesome spot. We got the view straight out of the fire pits just there. <laughs>
like, oh, I'll tell you what, it's been a bit of an ordeal. I'll likely sort of tell you a bit more about it and show you the morning, but we're just starting, I was just starting to get the annex all set up and it just started pissing out with rain. Out of nowhere, I had the annex zipped up, but I had the, the bloody camp chairs out in the rain, so they're a bit wet, so we've got we've got nothing to sit on at the moment, so we're going to have to sit inside, which is okay, because, you know, there's a couch and chairs inside, which are fairly comfy, but I don't know. I don't like sitting inside when I go camping. That's just that's just me. It's a really good setup here. Can't wait to give you a look tomorrow. Um, being a heap of kangaroos just out the front here. Toilet blocks are really good. Um, there is a fire pit, community fire pit out there as well, but of course with the with the rain around tonight, it's not a good idea to do that. And uh, a bit of wind, but um, the weather's supposed to be finding up, but then again, it wasn't supposed to be storming today either, so you might be in for some fun tomorrow. Jack's just trying out the air fryer here in the car at the moment. Oh, that come up the treat. Which is basically just running off the earth inverter. What's that? 12.8 at the moment, so my only real concern about running this off the battery is, you know, whether or not it's too much for the battery. It is a 1500 watt air fryer it's not a big one but um yeah it's a first time trying it so that and i've got the gopro charges there as well so yeah so far so good anyway i'll we'll wrap it up here tonight there's not much else going on and yeah we're just gonna cook up a feed and and take it easy and we'll catch you in the morning bloody night let me tell you a uh, big bloody storm rolled in and it literally happened just as I was starting to put up the annex so thankfully it didn't happen while I was trying to set the rest of the camper up yeah fortunately so I was getting the annex out bang it just started barking it out and it was blowing its head off and ended up getting it done in the rain which wasn't great downside of camper trailer life like I could have just not bothered with the annex at all and just just fold out the camper just hung in there and you know you know just wait it out basically but we camp and we don't like being inside to be honest with you it didn't let up honestly it just didn't let up all night i got everything set up and everything was satched i was satched no other way you can do it really you just got to get into it because it wasn't stopping and and it didn't stop all night Blowing all night, raining all night. Yeah, I think the rain is supposed to have been cleared up now, but there's some Dad, pretty wild I winds coming in. I can't find the pancake mixture. Ooh, okay. But uh, yeah, the wind's supposed to blow up pretty widely this afternoon, so uh, I might just have to chuck some more guy ropes on there. Hey, Hurley, how yeah. many kangaroos you seen here? Uh, 40. 40? <laughs> there's kangaroos everywhere, okay, so if you... You like the wildlife stuff yourself or you're bringing kids here um there's just roos everywhere uh slight concern it might not be a big deal but what we have noticed is the batteries in the camper trailer in the off season we've been charging them you know keeping them topped up but while they're in the safe zone at the moment i just have a feeling uh the agms might be on the way out
today. So we're at the Yanchep Inn. After we go in, I'll chuck up the drone footage I got earlier. If you're uh, if you're here, make sure you drop in here. It's um, just one of those real old coin, old pubs that you know still have that old feel, that old touch to it. And they also have a massive um, a massive outside area here as well. They tend to have jumping pillows on the weekends for the kids, um, and the view at the front is just ridiculous. And if you come here later in the day as well, you will actually see um, kangaroos in the grass area at the front. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll give you a look. So that was the Anchep Inn. Good feed there. The beer and taps cold. And uh, we're just having a quick. We're actually just going to see the koalas now. But um, what I'll, as we walk there, I'll just chuck in just a little bit of footage we got of the walk. Um, just around the national park itself. Oh, see the kangaroos up there, boys, in the path. How cool is that? So there is a hotel um, you can stay at as well. Not sure about prices, but best to chuck on the jump on the Yanchep National Park website for parks and wildlife and um, heap of barbecues here and picnic areas and um, plenty of toilets and those types of things. But who's going to sit on my head? I think it's going to poo. All right, so. For anyone wondering, the, koala, the koalas are free. And uh, there was only two up there in the tree. So maybe another day you get to see a bit more. Anyway, that's it for the exploring at the moment. Other things you can do is there's a cave tour you can do. You can do a treetop walk as well. I think there's like a one and a half hour and a two and a half hour. I think something like that. But the boys aren't interested which is just fine by me considering that still uh, not feeling flash and we're just going to go back to camp now and, and uh, I might play some, some cards with Hurley and some cricket with Zach and the boys can ride their bike around a bit and have a bit of explore. Apologise if it's a little bit windy here and it's the light's probably not too great. Just uh, on dust now and a heap of kangaroos here just out front of our camp which I'm gonna we're gonna show you here. Be very quiet, eh? It's a lot of oh there's a lot of kangaroo poo, isn't there? I guess they've been eating too much grass. Really? They're in the grass. Yeah, they're in the grass, aren't they? It's about nine kangaroos. How many can? Off they go. We're going to wrap it up here for the night. And we'll, uh, we'll check back here with in the morning. So good morning. I'll tell you what, it was bloody freezing last night. And unfortunately, I just can't catch a break this trip. 
it's actually got a really nice sleep just freezing cold during the night and you know but it is what it is and then six o'clock this morning um, literally the the spot right next to us kids young obviously young kids we're just crying and screaming and yelling and making a heap of bloody noise let me tell you some parents just don't care what time of day it is and how much noise they make uh, we're not one of those we make sure I'll keep our boys quiet till I don't know we'll try try till 8 o'clock but you know as close to that as we can but um this weekend really hasn't gone to plan but that's just how it is sometimes but I'll tell you what it's cleared up and uh, it's a ripping day here this morning which is uh, not the first time it's all cleared up and on the day we're about to leave uh, what I'm gonna do in the moment is I'm gonna show you because we did have a bit a bit of rain of course the night before last and I have had quite a few questions about the effects of the rain how much rain gets in um, you know do things get wet and that sort of stuff so I'll make sure I cover that off for you as best I can because we actually it rained it rained the whole bloody night which we haven't experienced well probably since we're in Queensland to be honest all right so this is take two batch went flat just started up before but like I was saying yeah, we had a bit of rain here the first afternoon we were trying to set up and then it rained the whole night when he is hell as well had quite a few questions about um, how, how does the camper go in the rain does it get wet how does the canvas go uh, where does it get wet and what is, was it like on the inside now, there was a video that we did um, where we packed up the camper trailer wet um, uh, which was in Denmark but if you haven't seen that and you're still wondering what it's like on the inside I'll show you where it actually gets wet and apologies if it's a little bit dark here so it's really only the corners of the bed okay so again the tops were fine so we've got we've got mattress toppers on here but that obviously they're fine they're just fine this is the mattress itself which is 50 mil thick again it's on the side but remember the lip of the camper on the outside is metal up to up to about there okay it's really just these little corner bits here in the corner of the bedding there that's where it tends to get damp sometimes there but not really this is it here so if you're tucking in your sheets in the corners they'll get damp and your donors and like literally that was sort of really it does water get in remember the top's all sealed okay so only way you're really gonna get water in is when you're closing the canvas down on itself and all that does is just sort of wet the the top of the beds but you can get plastic toppers and those types of things on your bed and protect them anyway so not a not a big problem and um for me not a reason not to go for a camper trailer that's for sure um hope hopefully that answered your questions on those ones and if i didn't um please chuck in the comments and and let me know and i'll do my best to, to cover it off I'm with you one on one. Apologies, the video probably didn't quite turn out how I planned. There is a lot you can do in this national park. It's about about two days, I reckon, would be good suit. So that's why I thought the week can be good. Uh, apologies, the camper trailer videos haven't been coming out um, that recently. We just had a lot going on in our own lives, but um, we've actually uh, got any, we're actually going on another trip next weekend. Um, so yeah, so there's more to come. And uh, again, if you've uh, subscribed to our channel and you watch our videos and like them and drop comments and those types of things and um, interact on in our Instagram and uh, Facebook and those types of things, we love you. You're awesome and thank you. Super appreciative of that. But um, if you haven't, you know, consider jumping on board and, and uh, getting involved because uh, the more of us are involved, the more we can all learn from each other. Anyway, I'm Deez for getting around Oz, camper trailer traveling. Thanks for watching.